Hey YouTube, it's Mr. Noor14 and today I want to show you a new feature that the Xbox One has just added to the system. Now, everybody knows about 3D audio. With the Xbox first had in the form of 3D audio, it's Dolby Atmos. Okay, and you know with Dolby Atmos you need a pair of up-firing speakers. Okay, to really enjoy Dolby Atmos, but you can hear it still in 5.1 sound. Okay. Now, another thing that Microsoft has just added is another 3D audio form called DTSX. Okay, so now not only do you you can listen to 3D audio in Dolby Atmos with upfiring speakers, with the DTSX, you can listen to 3D audio without having to have upfiring speakers. Okay, so I have a soundbar, but it's only Adobe Atmos soundbar. So my soundbar can't play DTS X audio because it doesn't have that feature in it. Okay? So in my movie room, which I am in now, it has, I have a receiver that plays Adobe Atmos as well as DTS X. So I've been really trying it out and seeing which one I thought was the best, okay? And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Just listening it to it, and for the first time, this is my first time really getting to listen to DTSX and seeing, do you really need height speakers? Do height speakers add another dimension to 3D audio, you know? Or can you just do an algorithm like DTSX does and you know manipulate that uh, sound that you have height speakers to make it seem like you have height speakers so the first thing I'm going to do is show you how you set this all up in your Xbox so you have to go into settings okay go to general then you're gonna go down to volume and audio output you're going to click on that and then you're going to go over here to speaker audio you're gonna put it in bitstream out and as you can see it's set up for DTSX for home theater. And if I wanted to listen to it in Atmos, I could just set it up in DTSX for home theater for Dolby Atmos. Okay, you see both of them there? Okay, so now you know that your system can do both. But before you do anything, you have to download the apps. So go into the Microsoft App Store and you need to download these two apps. You need to download the Dolby Access app and you need to download the DTSS Surround Unbound app. You're going to need these apps first in order to get 3D audio. Okay, so you simply, if you want to go between the two, you simply just go into the apps. Okay, now you have to pay if you want to use it with headphones. For DTS, it's $19.99. Okay, so you, then you go over to the audio system to the right where it got the TV and the speakers and everything. You click on that and as you can see to the right it would have, it says good to go because it's already set up but it would say enable DTXX and then you just hit that, it'll enable it and it'll say good to go after that. They also give you a sample movie and a sample game trailer for both of these that you can actually look at so that you can hear the sound and how the 3D audio will sound in your movie room or in your man cave or wherever you you know you have a sound bar or you have a movie room it'll show you how everything sounds okay but like I said it really wouldn't matter here if I turned it up you really couldn't hear the difference so I really just got the sound turned down right now okay and I'm just explaining this feature so as you can see here you go here you hit DTXS it's going to show you a movie of uh, how DTSX would sound if you were playing a movie you go here and it'll show you how DTSX would sound if you were playing a game okay so let's head out of here and go back to the home screen and say what if I wanted to do Dolby Atmos so you just go into the Dolby Atmos app and just to let you know that Dolby Atmos, the day that DTSX app came out, uh, 
Adobe Atmos just added an update to their system that made it even better. Okay? I mean, it's even better. Adobe Atmos sounds that much richer. So, you see what I just did? I went in there, went into products, went down to the, to the audio system and hit hit uh, enable down to the bottom now it's letting me know I'm ready to go to listen to Dolby Atmos so my receiver has changed from DTXS to Dolby uh, Atmos okay and that's how simple it is in the Xbox to to change between the two 3D audio formats okay but which one is better Okay, so this is what, from listening to both of them, when you turn on Dolby Atmos, it is really loud. The sound is loud, it's in your face, it's just, it's, it's out there. And when I turned on DTSX, the volume was real low. You know, and I had to turn it up. Whereas with Dolby Atmos, you just turn it up, you know, a little past 30 or 40. And your whole house is shaking. Where DTXS, I had it, DTSX, I had it turned up like to 50 and 60, you know, on my system just to get that rumble effect. But the bass is deep, the sound is great in DTSX, but it just doesn't have that level of clarity, you know, and strength that Dolby Atmos had. And you really see the need for up firing speakers. Okay, because the up-firing speakers add a whole different dimension to the sound. Okay, and that's what I picked from that, that listening to these, these two uh, 3D audio formats. Now, I'm not saying that DTS X was bad or anything. I'm just saying from as long as I've been listening to Dolby Atmos before I got DTS X, I can really tell the difference of the importance of Dolby Atmos insisting to have up firing speakers because it just adds a level of dimension that you're not trying to simulate that height. The height is really there. You're not trying to simulate it. So I have to say of the two, I have to give the hand to Dolby Atmos. Okay. And the reason why I have to give the hand because when I'm in the Plex and I'm watching a movie, you know, and you got that helicopter sound or you got gunfire wheezing around. I mean, DTSX did a great job, but when it just came to those height sounds and just birds flying around your head, it just seemed a little more realer with the Dolby Atmos. And I'm not saying I'm a Dolby Atmos fanboy, because like I said, I got the, a movie room and I like to listen to DTSS as well as Dolby Atmos and I'm happy now my Xbox allows me to do that. Okay? So let's go into the movies and this is a great feature here and this is why it's important, you know, to uh, have both of these because these movies are in different formats. So for instance, here goes Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, it's made for Dolby Atmos because it's made in 7.1 True HD. So you're going to get that the best sound, 3D audio sound, if you're watching this from having Dolby Atmos speakers. Okay? And then you go into, let's see here. This one was made for DTXS because this is, let's go to the soundtrack. As you can see, it's DTS. HDMA, that's Master Audio for, you know, 7.1 for Dolby, I mean for DTXS 3D audio sound. So you're going to hear the best with this, okay? And so it's nice now that I can turn between the two and see what's up. And for you people that have 5.1 systems and you don't have an up firing, you know, speaker or height speaker, then you got a choice. How do you want to listen to it? Now you can listen to it if you have an Xbox One X through DTXX. You know, like I said, it's not bad. There's nothing wrong with it. But I just prefer Dolby Atmos. It's probably the fact that I've been listening to Dolby Atmos the most. But it's just nice that now I have a choice when I go into my movies 
you know, what is it made in? You know, so I'm going to get the best sound, I believe, from what audio it was made in. You know, and there you go, DTX XHD for Bloodshot. You know, and it just adds another level of dimension when if you have a 5.1 system and you don't have up firing speakers, then you will enjoy this. If you have a big living room that has high ceilings, okay, and you have a sound bar that does Dolby Atmos and DTSX, you'll probably want to hear it in DTSX, you know, if you have your Xbox in your living room because you don't have to worry about having house speakers if you have high ceilings. So, like I said... The way I see it is the better of the two is Dolby Atmos. It's just louder. It's just more robust. It's more like being at the theaters, and you really see the, excuse me, you really see the need for height speakers and how important they are when it comes to things overhead. It just adds a level of dimension and realism to the way you hear things that simulating it through DTSX really doesn't. But DTSS does a great job, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this review of the Xbox One's new feature, adding more ways to listen to 3D audio with DTXX. This is Biston 414. Peace out.